Today we're going to learn how to find the inverse of a given 2 by 2 matrix. But before that, we're going to prove if matrix A is an inverse or invertible for matrix B. So for this first example, we need to show that B is the inverse of A when A is equal to this matrix and B is equal to this matrix. Now to prove this particular um, problem in um, linear algebra, we need to show that a times B is equal to the identity matrix and when we multiply B times A it's also equal to the identity matrix so that's what we need to do and finding an identity matrix means you'll have a matrix similar to this one 1 0 0 and 1 so this is your identity matrix now the first step is to find the product of matrix A times B so A times b using the same rule that we learned from the previous lesson the number of columns of your second matrix will determine how many times you're going to copy the first matrix so since we have two columns here we're going to copy the first matrix twice so here's our first copy and our second copy now you multiply the first column horizontally to the first copy of your matrix so you have one times one one and one across and one times one across combining it with addition. So that's our first step and our second step is to use the second column of our second matrix and to multiply it across the second copy of your matrix. So you have negative 1 times negative 2 plus 2 times negative 1 and negative 1 times negative 2 plus 1 times negative 1. So now that we have our setup in multiplying a matrix we are going to simplify each of the entry and we'll have negative 1 times 1 which is negative 1 plus 2 and we'll have negative 1 plus 1 for our first set. Now the second set we have positive 2 times negative 2 I mean plus negative 2 and the negative positive 2 plus negative 1 and simplifying your matrix will give you 1 0 0 and 1. So therefore A times B is equal to the identity matrix which is 1 0 and 0 1. Now what we need to do is to prove that when we multiply B times A, it's still going to be 1, 0, and 0, 1. And that's I'm going to show on the second half of our solution. So now we have B, which is 1, 1, negative 2, negative 1, times A, which is negative 1, negative 1, 2, and 1. With the same process, counting the number of columns of your second matrix, which is 2, we'll copy the first matrix twice. 1, 2. And we are going to multiply the first column to our first copy and the second column to the second copy. And we'll have negative 1 plus 2, negative 1 plus 1, 2 minus 2, and 2 minus 1. And if you will notice, once we simplify this matrix, it will give us 1, 0, 0, 1, which is the same as the product of A times B. Therefore, we have proven that B is the inverse of A because A times B is equal to the identity matrix and B times A is equal to the identity matrix as well. So that is how we show if one matrix is the inverse of another using or given a 2 by 2 matrix. Now for the second set of problems that we're going to have, we're going to find or learn how to find the inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. So we have here the formula in finding the inverse of a given matrix. So if we have matrix A given by A, B, C, D, the inverse of a matrix represented by this notation is given by this formula. So you need to have 1 over the determinant of your original matrix, which is A, and transform your matrix by interchanging or switching the first diagonal, that's why you have D and A, and changing the sign of your second diagonal. So you have negative B and negative C. So once again, to transform your matrix, just interchange the places of the first diagonal and change the sign of the second diagonal. So let's have these two matrices and let's see if we can find the inverse of the following matrices. So let's start with matrix A given by 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 2. So finding its inverse, we will use the same 
rule. So first, we need to find the determinant of a. So by doing that, 3 times 2 is 6, negative 1 times negative 2 is 2, therefore 6 minus 2 is 4. So the determinant of our first matrix is a, which we will use in our formula in finding its inverse. Now we just need to transform our matrix a by interchanging the placement of 3 and 2 and changing the sign of negative 1 and negative 2. Therefore, we'll have 1 over the determinant of a, which is 4, times 2, 3, 1, 2. So notice how we transformed the original matrix into this matrix to find or help us find the inverse of a matrix. So now that we have a constant, we can do scalar multiplication inside this matrix so a inverse is equal to 2 over 4 1 over 4 2 over 4 and 3 over 4 so these are the entries of our inverse in our matrix a so we when we simplify our fraction a inverse could be written as 1 half 1 half 1 fourth and 3 fourths and that is how we find the inverse of a given 2 by 2 matrix so moving moving on to matrix b to find the specific value of the inverse of matrix B, we're going to use the same formula. So let's find the determinant that we can use in finding the inverse of this matrix. So to find the determinant, 3 times 2 is 6, negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6. Now 6 minus 6 will give us a determinant equal to 0. And if we have a 0 as our determinant, B or this particular matrix is not invertible, therefore we're no longer um, able to find the inverse of matrix B because the determinant is equal to zero. And that is how we find the inverse of a given 2 by 2 matrix.